Hello, this is John with Coronado Buzz, and I'm here at Leroy's with Christina. And we're just uh, chatting about the restaurant, the history of the restaurant, and some of the key concepts that they've employed here, which are fantastic. So we're going to go over those here. Uh, Christina, tell us, first of all, how long has the restaurant been open? Uh, we opened last year, which was July 19th of 2011. Okay, so, you, and how has things been going? Everything's going really great. Okay. Oh, and how did Leroy's come about? The name, first of all, and the location. Tell us a little bit about uh, that. Well, David Spadafore, he's the um, owner of the restaurant, and um, it used to be the Beach and Diner, which he also owned, and they wanted to come up with a, a new concept and bring some just really great fresh food uh, to Coronado, and uh, Leroy is actually his cousin, which is the namesake on the building, and they have both together um, put together this fabulous restaurant. Great, great with you. One of the things that you mentioned that I find remarkable is that you really support the local uh, farmers. Tell us a little bit about that and the whole concept of sustainability. Absolutely. Well, uh, like I was telling you before, uh, we try to keep everything local, sustainable, and fresh. Uh, we partner with um, a lot of the local farms. Susie's Farm um, is one in particular, um, Mary's Farm for a Chicken. Uh, and we just try to keep everything sourced um, locally to keep it sustainable. Um, and to support our local farmers. That's great. Anyway, the thing that I think that we wanted to bring out is you're, you're doing a couple of other things very special. First of all, the concept of the menu in the area of seafood, for example. How does your chef and, and your owner decide what goes on the menu? So it's whatever is in season and locally available. So it could be swordfish, it could be halibut, it could be a yellowtail. All right, now let's talk about a couple of your upcoming events. Uh, so next month we have coming up, uh, we have a dogfish head beer dinner where we're gonna be doing the same thing, featuring uh, different styles of beers paired with different types of um, food, which um, the chef has specially prepared just for those um, flavors. So. Right, right. Uh, well, those events, they're open to the general public? They is it are. invitation only? It, it's uh, just by reservation only, and okay. so you just got to call up. The space is always limited, so you want to call and get in on those pretty quickly. Okay. Uh, so we do uh, feature a new local artist on the 15th of every month, and it just keeps everything fresh, and then we're supporting supporting the local art community. So anything that we sell here goes 100% straight to that artist, and then we switch it out again monthly. That's great. So. Well, that's another example of how Leroy's is... Uh, being real loyal to the community and providing artists, local artists, a chance to show their their work. Well, thank you so much, Christina, for the interview today. I think it really exemplifies the hard work you guys have put in and your team have put into the restaurant, and I think uh, you're going to be quite a pillar in the community for many years to come. So thank, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks.